have a question. What is your favorite song and how do you connect with it? Is it when you fell in love or through something really difficult? I'm your host, Tiffany Mason. Now join me as I interview others and we take a walk down memory lane with them. Let's get lost in why that music matters to them. Turn up your radio and let's explore Memories with a Beat. Hello, Podcast Land. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Memories with a Beat. Today, I have with me my big sister. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay, so you would think that by the time that you're like in your 40s, like you're over it. That's your big sister, but whatever. No, you guys, that's still my big sister. (laughs) You're going to make me cry. Oh, well, the other thing that I just remember so much about looking up to you and having you be my big sister was, I think that you kind of always had it together, right? Like you always (laughs) knew you wanted to do hair. You always were like put together. You always had cute outfits on. I remember her Z Cavaricci shorts uh, (laughs) from the buckle that she bought herself with her birthday money uh, or probably her job money. And I was always like in the dirt playing. Uh, I remember going camping and one day, oh my gosh, you guys, I climbed into our bunk bed in the camper. I was covered in sand, but to me, it wasn't a big deal. Well, really dirt that was like sand, but it wasn't a big deal to me. (laughs) I crawled into bed with Jenny and she was like, get this dirt pig out of my bed. (laughs) You know, that's just kind of how always, how it was always like you always had it put together and I was always kind of fluffling around trying to figure it out. (laughs) It was great. Yes. Yes. And it was, it was really cool because I just recently took a trip to Iowa and actually stayed with you. And while we were there, I don't know. I don't know if it was like the way that you talked to your kids or to me, I don't really know what happened, but I just saw like this person who loves her family more than the air that she needs for her lungs. I was just really overwhelmed and impressed with how much you truly love us all. For sure. Yes. Yes. It was very obvious. And then how fun that we have seniors this year. So that's going to make next summer very interesting as we try to coordinate (laughs) graduation parties, which thank God down in Florida, it's not a thing. So, you know, I just have to worry about my Minnesota one for my son and then Iowa one for Mr. Owen, but yeah, it'll be fun. And kind of weird that we're at that stage of life where we have seniors and college kids and kind of crazy that we've made it that far. (laughs) Yes. Um, So if you don't mind, I know everything about you. My audience obviously doesn't. So would you tell us a little bit about yourself, where you live, what you do, all that good stuff? Sure. So I will be 44 this year. Um, Uh Married to my husband, Larry. We have three kids, 18, no, almost 19, 17, and 15. We're right there. So within a few months, I have my own salon here in Centerville, Iowa. My husband works at Fairway as a meat department uh, manager. And we've lived in Centerville, Iowa for about 10 years. So our little journey over the last 23 years, and here we are and happy. So that's awesome. I I know after being married for almost 21 years that it's not a it's not a small feat to stay married that long and then even better to be happy. So that's pretty awesome for really both of us. I remember when you graduated beauty school and honestly, I remember being like, what's the big deal? Like, it's just like a trade school. Who cares? You know, like I wasn't really like that impressed by it. Cause I thought that's not college. Um, but I remember everybody in the family was really impressed, but I was thinking about talking to you today last night and I guess what I am super impressed with is somehow like you had the ambition to start your own salon. I remember that was the, the goal from day one, from the, from the day you started beauty school, you were like, I'm going to have my own salon. And I think it's so cool that you actually did in Washington, right? That was the first town that you had one in. Well, I didn't really own that one. Eldora pie was the first one. Okay. That's what I, that's actually what I meant, um, mm-hmm. was Eldora. Yep. And then you moved to Centerville and I remember thinking like, oh man, to start it all over again. And then I remember actually being just even a little bit jealous when I walked into your salon, like, oh my gosh, she has a vision. She did it. 
you know, and I still was trying to figure it out. I mean, I would probably just say really in the last year, I feel like I have things, you know, my ducks in a row. So I just remember always thinking like, (laughs) (laughs) oh, it's good. (laughs) I was just proud of you. (laughs) And, um, I, I don't know where you got the courage or where you got the support to do that because I don't think we were really raised to dream or to have those ambitions for ourselves. So I don't know. I just think it was really cool. Okay. Well, Enough of that. <laughs> 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 so you picked a song by Joe Nichols. What song did you pick? Why did you pick it? How do you connect with it? Give us all the details. Well, the Joe Nichols song I picked was Sunny in 75. And I love that song because really I should have been born in the Caribbean. <laughs> yes. I love hot weather. Yes. So I would rather have sweat rolling down my back than to be freezing. So um, when I hear that song, it puts me in the beach and it makes me happy. So I like to listen to it because I pick it quite a bit because I just take myself to the beach and I'm in Iowa. So um, we get some hot days, but not a ton. And it just makes me feel warm and like I'm at the beach. So, yeah, I talk about you a lot down here in Florida because people will say, you know, do you want to sit in the chairs in the sun or in the shade? I'm like, oh, I got to sit in the shade. And then I'm always the first mom in the pool. All the other moms just want to sunbathe. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know how you guys can do it. And I, I always say my sister can sunbathe. You know, I always call it baking. I'm like, she loves to bake. I remember when we would go swimming in a pool at our apartment complex every summer and she'd be out there sunbathing for hours and I always had to be in the pool and it's still <laughs> that way now but um yeah. yeah so I know you love the hot weather and I know that a lot of times when you vacation you always try to go somewhere hot and sunny and probably more than 75. Yes yes <laughs> 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 and I thought it was cool. Um, I checked in with you last night before the interview too. And oddly enough, it came on at the ballpark. So I think that was a sign you were supposed to talk about it today or <laughs> the heavens knew it was going to be talked about today or Joe Nichols knew. <laughs> hey, podcast land. Y'all have given me so many compliments on my sound and thank you very much. But it all comes from my Fifine USB podcast condenser mic. I've thought about upgrading, but honestly, why fix what's not broken? In the beginning of the pandemic, a lot of podcasts were started, making the price of ideal microphones skyrocket, and they weren't that easy to get your hands on. And wouldn't you know, I thought it was a great idea to start my podcast in 2020 as well. Due to the circumstances, I was forced to look at other options, and I'm thankful that I was. If you too are looking for an affordable microphone for podcasting, check out the link in the show notes to get your FeeFind microphone. On that note, let's go back to the show. Okay, so I want to dive into the uh, lyrics just a little bit. When you said you take yourself to the beach, I can totally see that because the words take you to the beach. So it says, he's talking about looking over at her and she's got her swimsuit on. She's got her sunglasses on, bare feet, covered in sand. And looking up at the sky and you can see the the vapor trails from the airplanes and then the ponytail in your hair. Although you and I both have very short hair. We're not wearing any ponytails, but um, like a a a ponytail. Come on. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. You do have a little, little punky or not punky Bruce or little pebbles ponytail (laughs) there. (laughs) Rock, rocking the pebbles pony. (laughs) Probably not when you go to the beach though. (laughs) (laughs) Depending on the day. Uh, And then it says like a postcard out of nowhere, you get to me, you give me that smile and I'm somewhere, somewhere sunny in 75, you and me on a beach chair. I can totally picture that. Like you're just driving down because Iowa has lots of rolling roads and, you know, cornfields on the sides. I mean, it's just a fact, not trying to pick on Iowa, but yeah. And then the sun is hitting you and you're just thinking like, oh gosh, last time I was on vacation. (laughs) you at the beach I mean it totally he draws it all out for you yep yep I completely agree especially you and me on a beach chair because that's where I like to be at the beach I love to put a beach chair right where the waves are coming in so they're constantly going over my feet and so that's why I agree that he takes you to the beach Um, every time he looks in her eyes 
kissing you in the salt air. I can taste it, I swear. I got to think that as many trips as you and Bud have gone on, that you have envisioned some of those memories listening to this song. Absolutely. Where'd you guys for recently sure. go? Uh, Key West. Okay. And how long were you there for? They were there six days. Yeah, six days. Six days. And I mean, I am shocked that you didn't pick Jacksonville. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm really sorry as much as I wanted to but I consistently watch the weather and Key West was like 10 degrees warmer than anywhere in Florida consistently so yeah and I think when you guys went we were just getting into our hotter weather so you wouldn't have been mm -hmm. you would have been disappointed it was probably <laughs> only 70 and sun or 75 and sunny you know yeah. <laughs> uh okay so just to finish off some of the lyrics here just the way you're leaning into me. It's a holiday when we're together. I want to stay with you forever. And I love that this guy is so into this chick and he wants to stay there forever. And it's like a holiday and everything. And, you know, as parents, it's really hard, especially as our parents, as our children get older, it's hard to have that intimate time because the kids are always there and they can, you know, they're, they're tuned into it. So I think it was nice that you guys had a getaway and you were able to have some of that alone time, you know, that we all crave and desire with our spouses. Um, so, you know, another reason why I would think that I would love this song, just thinking back to, you know, just freedom. I mean, we get such little time of freedom, such little time where we don't have to run the kids somewhere or, and I know your kids are in a lot of sports, what all do your kids do right now? Um, right now we're just chasing baseball, but we have JV and varsity. So we have a 530 and a 730 game. So you go to work and then you leave work and you come home and you quick grab a drink, change your shirt, whatever it is. And you jump in the car and go to the baseball games. And then you're there till 10 30, 11 o'clock at night. And then you drive home, depending on where we're at. It can be crazy. <laughs> yeah. It gets to be a late night and it gets to be no extra time. And then you guys are really early risers too. Yes. 5 15, the alarm clock goes off. So <laughs> yes, she always has her beach body workout posted on her stories by like 7 a.m. I'm like, oh my gosh, how did she do it? <laughs> I don't uh, that I would never do it. So I'd be beat by the end of the day. So yeah, yeah, I find that same same issue. I need my beauty yeah. sleep. Yeah, well, I don't have to be there till like 8, 8 30. Yeah. Yeah. So I have a little bit of time, but Larry gets up, so I just get up with him and get coffee and get rolling. Yep. Well, do you have a specific memory or a specific place that like, when you do hear this song, you're instantly transported to, I know that you guys have vacation to Florida and in the Caribbean, but is there a specific, like, I don't know, does it always bring you back to the same exact place or, or not really? Mm, I would say maybe two places pop into my mind when I hear the song, depending on, you know, my mood, whatever. Um, we have Lake Raspin here mm -hmm. and close to Centerville. And so we go there quite a bit. Sometimes Larry and I take road trips, whatever. And it makes me think of us just driving down the road, driving to the lake and hanging out. I love to hang out with him. And so, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Do I really like that? Um, <laughs> otherwise, uh, we've been to Dominican a couple of times. And I can definitely uh, remember a couple of trips to the Dominican that bring me to the mine too, so. Yeah. It's easy to get teary eyed about it though, because that time is so precious and we get so little of it. And it's like our time. That's when we get to have one-on-one -on -one focus with each other. And we're not worried about the kids and we're not worried about what's for dinner. Or not, we're not worried about what tomorrow has in it. You know, we just get to be in the moment and we don't get those chances real often. So that doesn't surprise me to see you tear up and, you know, just shows that you appreciate it and that you actually are truly happily married. I mean. <laughs> Like I said, it's not an easy feat and a lot of crap comes your way in 23 years or 24, 23, 23 years. And mm -hmm. um, so I think that that's, that's good. I think it's good to be brought to tears just thinking about how much you love that time with him. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, was there anything else that you wanted to add about this song by Joe Nichols? No, but look it up, play it and see what it does for you because if you like the beat, you'll like the song and check out his other songs too. He's got lots of good songs. The Impossible is awesome. Give me that girl. Give me that girl is awesome. I, I think I have like all of his songs memorized. I actually saw him in concert when we first moved to town. Oddly enough, that was our first venue with anybody from town. Um, there's a little 
little town called Eldon. We went to the state fair and went and saw Joe Nichols. And I actually, one of the people that we went with was uh, from the radio here in town. And he actually got us passes to meet him. So I've actually met Joe Nichols. Great guy, super nice. Everything you thought he would probably be. So yeah, it kind of brings you back to when we first moved here and friends that we met and we're still friends. And yeah, check him out. He's got lots of great songs. Speaks to the happy. heart or it speaks to like, how good life is. Yeah. Yeah. He's just a really positive. Yeah. Yeah. I completely agree. <laughs> I completely agree. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your morning um, and taking time to spend with your little sister. Um, and, and then aside, side note, look at you doing podcasts. I could never do what you do. So <laughs> I mean, I talk to people, but I don't know, like, look at you doing podcasts. I would have never known what to do. Yeah. Good for you. Congratulations. Trial and error. Thank you. <laughs> well, with that, that's going to be the last note of this episode. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? You never know what rabbit holes we'll get to go down and explore. Were you reminded of anything or anyone? Share what it was with me in a review. Honestly, the reviews don't do me any favors other than knowing people like you are listening to this podcast. Insert cheesy wink. <laughs> However, the ratings do help, so leave me five stars. You know you wanna. This podcast was produced by Virtual You, supporting you in all things podcasting. To connect or check me out on social media, I mean, I know you're just gonna stalk me. <laughs> but see the show notes, as always, for details. Can't wait to dive into my next guest's memories with a beat. Hit subscribe now. You don't wanna miss the next episode.